Switzerland is not just a country, it's a federation, a collection of 26 states called cantons. What sets them apart and what makes them alike? Do you know? Now's your chance to find out. Today we're going to talk about URI. Hello and welcome to 7 Facts. URI is a federal state of Switzerland located in the central part of the country. On a map, it looks like it's holding together the whole of Switzerland, and in a way, it really does. This is one of the founding members of the Swiss Confederation. It's a tiny place home to only 36,000 people, 9% of which are actually foreigners. So then, what is there to talk about? Is there nothing else of interest in URI? Let's find out. Uri was first mentioned in the 8th century, so it's been around for quite some time. In this time, they've been an essential part of Central European history. Signatory to the Federal Charter of Switzerland, the canton of Uri is in fact one of the founding members of Switzerland. The canton signed the charter in the early part of August 1291. The main reason behind signing the charter was the death of King Rudolf of Habsburg and the imminent threat from Austrian powers. To protect the peace in the region, the canton signed this alliance with the other two forest cantons of Schwitz and Unterwalden. The three cantons pledged their loyalty to each other and to forever maintain the eternal alliance. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Right, with that said, let's go to fact number 3. Altdorf, meaning old village in German, is the capital of Uri. This is a small town of less than 10,000 people, and yet it will charm you on the first sight. Altdorf is characterized by magnificent mansions and palaces built by medieval and renaissance mercenaries returning home. And it's also where the famous scene of William Tell's story took place at least according to legend, but that's another fact on its own. William Tell was a hunter, a family man and a skilled bowman. He was an unremarkable nobody until November 18, 1307. On that day, he journeyed to Altdorf, but made a grave mistake. He walked past a pole which had the hat of Gessler, the bailiff sent by the Habsburgs. He was supposed to bow before it, as it represented the authority of the Habsburg family over the area. But William Tell ignored it, so he was arrested for treason. Gessler threatened him with execution unless he could prove his skills as a marksman by shooting an apple off the head of his son. Tell takes the shot and splits the apple in half. Instead of releasing him as promised, Gessler sent him away to Küstnacht prison. He escaped, killed Gessler, and his act of defiance sparked the rebellion that led to the formation of the Confederacy. Of course, there are no official accounts of any William Tell existing at the time, as he is just a legend. But his story became a symbol of resistance against aristocratic rule, both in Switzerland and the rest of Europe. On August 1st, feasts, bonfires and speeches are a commonplace across Uri. The National Day, as it is called, commemorates the founding day of the Swiss Confederation. This is the very day the representatives from, th from the three cantons met to form the Eternal Alliance. They sealed their promise of fighting the Austrians together through the Rütli Vau or Rütli Schwur. Rütli is the name of, the, of a meadow in the mountains by the Lake Lucerne in the canton Uri. There are multiple versions of the oath, but the most famous one goes like this. We want to be a single people of brethren, never to part in danger nor distress. We want to be free as our fathers were, and rather die than live in slavery. We want to trust in the one highest God, and never be afraid of human power. You can literally walk the path of Swiss history in Uri. Swiss path is the name given to a national path that was opened to the public in 1991. It was built to mark the 700 years of the Swiss Confederation, which was formed in 1291. The Swiss path traverses through all the important locations that are significant to the constitution of the Swiss Confederation. 
The route recognizes each of the cantons making up Switzerland, with markers announcing each canton along the route. The length of the route for each canton is proportional to the population at the time of building, and the order is determined by the order in which the cantons joined the Swiss Confederation. Tourism is a big deal in the canton of Uri, which is home to thousands of hotels ready to tend to the guests at all times. Good roads have made it easier for travelers to reach the various peaks via bikes or other vehicles. The visitors can also take the many cable cars that connect the lower altitude areas to the mountain peaks. Apart from this, there are ample ski slopes, bike trails and cross-country tracks that make Uri an ideal destination for adventure seekers. And if you don't want to travel too much, you can just walk the streets of Altdorf that, tiny as it is, still has a bunch of museums, theatres, art galleries and gorgeous buildings. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.